Breaking news tonight, President Trump refusing to back down in his efforts to secure America's borders. The president, once again, he is demanding the wall be built, and he's revealing his details tonight about his plan to send the National Guard down to our southern border. Now, the president is also blasting unlawful sanctuary cities and, of course, the state of California and the mayor of Oakland, California, who has shielded criminal illegal immigrants. We'll have the details. And also tonight, Fox News confirming the deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, he has now received Chairman Devin Nunes' letter from the House Intel Committee demanding that Rosenstein stop stonewalling record requests, be transparent with the American people. Now, we have all of that. Plus, tonight, we are going to name names and expose who is the biggest liar in Congress. Which liberal Democrat is it? Well, we'll tell you later. We'll reveal that. And we have now even more explosive text messages just released a few minutes ago between the FBI lovebirds, Trump haters, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, Catherine Herridge reporting that one text message indicates that Strzok actually traveled to London in early August of 2016 to interview a key witness. We'll have all of that and all the details in tonight's important breaking news opening monologue. All right, the president, once again, he's leading from the front. Ah, oh, how refreshing. And frankly, he's even dragging the weak Republican Party with him as he now tries to keep the promises he made to you on the campaign trail, you the American people. Now, instead of being content with Congress's inability to get things done, President Trump once again pressing ahead, trying to enact his agenda. Now, this now includes renewing his calls for America to get much tougher, much smarter on illegal immigration, securing our country. Now, here's what the president said by blasting these very weak, ineffective immigration laws. Here's what he said. We had very, very weak laws. We have the worst, worst laws you ever think catch and release which we're terminating very quickly. We're doing it in pieces. If one foot hits our country, we have to take those people, gently register them, and then release them, okay? We're going to release them, essentially, in a short period of time. So we release them. And then they're supposed to come back for a court case. We hire more judges. We're trying to hire thousands of judges. No other country in the world does it. We hire judges so that these people will come back. If you have a baby on our land, congratulations. That baby is a United States citizen. We're the only one. But I'll tell you what, the laws of this country have to be strengthened and toughened up because it is crazy. We're going to have our wall, and we're going to get it very strongly. The military is going to be building some of it. But we're going to have very strong borders, and we have to change our laws, and we're working on doing that. Now, the president is so right. Think about this. America's immigration laws are so ridiculously idiotic, foolish, outdated, and they're constantly being abused. Now, there's a reason why just about every other country on the face of the earth, they do things differently. They're a lot tougher on illegal immigrants, and Mexico leads the way. And the president is now taking matters into his own hands. Now, last night he signed that proclamation to send the National Guard to the southern border to assist our Border Patrol with security until, of course, we can build the wall. And tonight, the president is saying between 2,000 and 4,000 troops will be sent down to protect the southern border. Great idea. Finally, we're going to get that done. Now, liberals, of course, they're furious, even though there is a long-established precedent for doing this. Yeah, that's right. Barack Obama and George W. Bush, they did the same thing. Doesn't seem to matter to the left in this country because they just oppose every single thing that President Trump does. Now, the liberal Oregon governor, Kate Brown, she's saying she's going to refuse to send National Guard troops from her state to the border if she's asked by President Trump. Montana Governor Steve Bullock, he's saying he'll never deploy the National Guard. Here's a question. Do any of these states have opioid problems? In other words, drugs coming across the Mexican border? Watch this show on Showtime called Trade. It gives you a lot of detail about where those drugs come from. And a battle also appears to be brewing between the Trump administration and the sanctuary state of California over whether California is going to comply with the president's plan. Now, as we have been reporting on this right here on this program, California is now ground zero for the leftist resistance to the president's attempts to combat illegal immigration. As a result, President Trump, once again, he is blasting sanctuary states like California and this corrupt, aiding and abetting criminal behavior mayor of Oakland. Take a look.
If you look in California and you see what's happening, it's an incredible phenomenon because sanctuary cities, it's the worst. It's basically a city to protect a lot of people that are bad people. How about the mayor of Oakland, where she tells a thousand people to get going? Law enforcement's coming to get you. And this was all planned, and many of them scattered. And it was pretty much a failure. Uh, I mean, to me, that's obstruction of justice. And something should happen there. And it hasn't, and I don't know why it hasn't, but something should happen there. Yeah, that is obstruction of justice. That's called aiding and abetting criminals. By the way, that's not DACA. It's not dreamers. These are illegal immigrants in the country committing more crimes. Now, remember, she gave a warning to these criminal illegal immigrants that they were going to be deported by ICE and gave them a warning. And because of her actions, we know that hundreds of people were able to avoid being apprehended. And, of course, she put the Border Patrol in jeopardy because you don't know what's going to happen after you warn them that they're going to be raided. Now, also tonight, liberal members of the mainstream corrupt media, they're losing their minds over the president's comments today about sexual assault, rape, and violence that are committed by some illegal immigrants against migrant women. Watch this. Remember my opening remarks at Trump Tower when I opened? Everybody said, oh, he was so tough. And I used the word rape. And yesterday it came out where this journey coming up, women are raped at levels that nobody's ever seen before. They don't want to mention that. Here's a question for the left, liberal Democrats, all these people that support illegal immigration in this country. All right, can you explain to the members of this country and our community and our family in America how it is so outrageous for the president to actually speak about the violence that is being committed by some against migrant women. Now think about this. If one American woman gets raped, isn't that too much? If one American woman, let's say Kate Steinle, gets murdered, isn't that one too many? And nobody seems to be saying that, you know, all these people that cross the border, they are guilty of this. Nobody's saying that. It's not all people. We know that people come across the border, they want a better life for their children, their grandchildren. We're just asking, come and come legally. Now, since the media is impervious to truth and facts, let us educate them as we always need to. Or earlier this week, the L.A. Times, they reported on the caravans that moved through Latin America, and they found that robberies, rapes, assaults perpetrated by smugglers, cartel members, and Mexican immigration uh, agents are common. And in one incident, they pointed to you know, a number of years ago, 72 in 2010 kidnapped migrants were killed by a cartel in northern Mexico. Now look at this McClatchy report, same year, as many as six out of t every 10 Central American women and girls are raped as they pass through Mexico, hoping to cross illegally into the United States, Amnesty International reported. Now, these numbers are beyond disturbing. And then, of course, there's all the human smuggling, all the sex trafficking. We played the tape numerous times, 642,000 crimes, uh, charges against the illegal immigrants in a seven-year period against Americans in one state. That's crimes against Texans and including the most violent crimes. Now, from all the information we have, it is a very serious problem that is impacting people in our country. Now, what's so inexcusable about all of this is the left refuse to respect America's right to sovereignty and security. It's not their families that are dealing with this, apparently. And by the way, this includes all the facts and all the evidence. Listen to this. Under President Trump, border crossings are down over 70 percent. But since Congress refused to build the wall, we're now beginning to see a, an uptick at the border. Take a look at this headline. Illegal immigration up 200 percent just this past month in March after Senate legalization debate. People trying to come into the country illegal. Guess what? There's nothing stupid about what they're doing. I especially people that want a better life and they know America's back door is wide open and they know they can essentially walk in whenever they want. Well, that also means people that are criminal elements, they too can walk in. That means even gang members can walk in. And that means people, even terrorists can walk in. Now, every American is in jeopardy. And according to the Department of Justice, asylum seekers have an 88 uh, percent percentage change of a chance of avoiding expedited removal just by claiming they have a, quote, credible fear. 
Now, there's a reason why President Trump's poll numbers are now surging. Why? It's very simple. He's actually keeping his word, his campaign promises, and the American people like it, and they're responding positively, no matter how much they lie about him, attack him on basically everything. This is a model for the rest of the GOP and the Republican Party. You want to win in 2018? Keep your promises. Fight for the American people. Just basic, simple common sense and good business.